Hey guys, who are we all? So welcome to My Way Tarot. This is going to be a reading uh, for the next seven days. This will be a general reading, so please only take what you feel resonates and leave the rest. So please use your sense of discernment and not force of any of the messages to fit to a particular situation. This being a timeless reading, um, so the messages may resonate um, now or they could resonate at a later date. So it doesn't necessarily have to be when I post the reading. Also, this will be for Libra placements. So if you have Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, Mercury or North Node in uh, Libra, this reading is most likely for you. Now, we're going to get into the reading now with the Modern Witch Tarot. And please feel free to look for the other placements um, so that you get a full around a picture of the current energies for the next seven days. So let's get into your reading. Angels of Love and Light, could we please have clear and concise messages for Libra for the next seven days? What do they need to know? Please and thank you. I just heard spill the tea, okay? So something is going to be brought up to you, most likely in the next seven days, okay? This could be about yourself or about someone near you or maybe even a friend of a friend or a family member I'm picking up on, okay? Um, so someone's going to be spilling the tea. I'm not getting too much romantic vibes at the moment, but that most likely will come up later on. Someone's spilling the tea. Or you're spilling the tea to someone, okay? With the Four of Pentacles, this is someone that's held back something uh, quite important here from you, okay? I'm getting more that they've held it back from you rather than you holding it back from them. And I feel this has got something in regards to your finances or your work or a particular project or your career, okay? Maybe things have been um, relatively slow, okay? And I feel that the reason things have been slow in that department has been, well, been, well, if I can get my words out, has been because there's needed the sense of building on a solid foundation. And I feel like you've done a brunt of the work here, guys, and you've been consistent. And I feel like somebody maybe didn't want you to kind of to get to the next level here. And they may have been trying to do off something underhanded here to kind of keep you in this place whereby you weren't going to be exceeding in um, maybe a particular position to do with your work or just kind of I'm hearing glowing up and getting to the next level in regards to your working life okay yeah as I say that king of pentacles but you're gonna be going straight from the port wow the Four of Pentacles to the King of Pentacles. I nearly said poor, okay, guys? So some of you may have been feeling, you know, in a sense of lack. And some of you have been dealing with poverty. Or you've been feeling like you're just not able to kind of cover what you're needing to cover as of right now. Struggling to pay bills or put food on the table. Or I'm hearing dress your children, if that is something that may resonate. But I'm I'm getting this huge like leap into this abundant energy with the king of pentacles there could actually be someone who maybe wanted to see how you dealt with certain things first and then there could be an investor involved could be dealing with an earth sign taurus virgo capricorn and they kind of see that you need this sense of assistance and they want to be very generous with you okay so there could actually be someone who could be giving you um, a lump sum of money here or giving you an opportunity or potentially this person is going to give you some very solid advice that you can rely upon to help you get to where you want to be so you're sitting in that king of pentacles status type of thing now i'm reading energy rather than gender or sex guys so as we all have you know feminine masculine energies within us um, so that there's, there's somebody who's coming in who could be quite a masculine energy, but they don't need to be male. Okay. Who could be coming in. I'm getting the sense that they've seen you, um, kind of scrimp and save here. Maybe you've not been able to make a big, um, purchase here about something that's really important for you to get to where you want to be or to be able to make the moves that you want to make. And this person could be getting ready to 
share some of their wealth with you. Wow, okay. What else can we get here? That's a specific message for some of you. Only take what you feel resonates, remember, guys. What can we get here for Libra? Or maybe you're the one that actually is seeing as someone who has been in a difficult spot and you're going to be the one that's assisting assisting them, okay? The devil, wow. Strong card to come out first, guys. Definitely Capricorn energy is highly significant here, okay? With the four of pentacles. Yeah, you've definitely been dealing with a lot here. You've definitely felt trapped or bound in some way. You may have dealt with a karmic cycle here in regards to your finances. And so therefore, it's like you, you've you you've kind of proven um, something to the universe that you can, even though when times have been difficult, you can still make the practical decisions you're needing to make and be really quite sensible with your earnings, I'm hearing, or with your finances. Maybe you've had issues with overspending in the past or impulsive spending or being a bit reckless with your finances. And something that is coming in for me is, is in regards to maybe you've changed your perspective on your kind of finances, about money even, okay? About being open and receptive to money. Maybe you felt that you weren't worthy of receiving large sums of money or making um a lot here okay yeah as i say that five of pentacles which is about wow is about being in lack or scarcity so i really feel like the sense of uh tension here in regards to talking about money maybe you've never been someone who has really asked for help but you're about to receive help and you need to be open to this because it's going to help you. Yeah, you've been healing. You've been he healing. Wow. OK, guys, I don't know what on earth is going on here. I'm hearing money mantras. OK, like affirmations. You've been working on your your mindset in regards to money because money is just energy. OK, there may have been a certain belief that you grew up with about money. And it wasn't healthy. I'm hearing specifically that saying, um, money doesn't grow on trees. Maybe you're someone that has always worked so hard in your life in regards to getting where you want to get to. But it's like it didn't ever seem to matter how much you put in. You weren't receiving the results. Yeah, here with the Hierophant. I'm really picking up on a an authority figure here in your life. Taurus energy. This could maybe even be um, a parent, okay, who wasn't the best of influence in regards to how they viewed or perceived money or maybe just work in general. Maybe you and this person just don't see eye to eye or you've got a new perspective on things and they don't want to accept the way that you have your own opinions and viewpoints in regards to money because it doesn't kind of match theirs and so therefore they want you to be in the sense of lack and scarcity but you're about to prove otherwise that i'm hearing that miracles can happen okay for some reason there may be an argument that breaks out between the two of you or you've already had an argument or things are just feeling a bit uneasy between you and someone or you may have been up in your head about bringing up a situation or a subject to do with money or to do with work two of wands i feel like you're someone that has big ideas big plans and you have been very proactive with your work here yeah as i say that queen of pentacles we saw the king and the queen of pentacles coming through with the everything is fine, ten of swords and the knight of swords and justice. There's your energy, Libra. With the five of wands. I feel like things are finally working out in your favour. They're balancing. And there's definitely something to do with a mindset shift here, okay? I'm getting like you broke a, a generational curse 
guys. You did some major healing in regards to that. I just saw 11.01 on my timer, so 1.11. You're about to come into a lot of stability and security for yourself. I'm hearing you're the only one that believed that you could do off something or get to where you wanted to get to in regards to working on something that was very important for you or meant of great value to you. But you're, you've earned something, you deserve it. And there might be others around you who are very quick to kind of jump in and say that you aren't worthy or you don't deserve it or you've had this kind of innate belief. I'm hearing like your whole life like things are never going to be different, like they're never going to change, but they're about to change in a massive way. Yeah, look, more money here with the Knight of Pentacles. I'm hearing you're turning your back on someone or like an idea or just maybe even an environment that isn't right for you. And you've been kind of diligently putting in work and having the sense of belief that things can turn around and work out for you. And you may have thought at one point that these little things that you're doing don't really add up or don't look like, you know, it's not like you're moving mountains overnight type of thing. Like there's this drastic change. It's been it's been a progress here, but there's still progress. OK, and I feel that you're at this crossroads right now where you're like, well, I have a decision to make. Do I continue to, to be around these people or to listen to what they think and feel is right um, because they have this belief and then you don't and you kind of succumb to what they're thinking and feeling and how they were brought up and etc etc or are you going to be stepping out and doing things differently and in a sense kind of showing up and showing out in a way that has never done has never been done before has never been preceded before like it's it's just you're about to kind of break free okay yeah from something here there's something to do with a karmic cycle with that ten of wands you're you're literally you're literally about to embark on a brand new beginning for yourself as i say that breaking up the deck with the ace of swords i'm speaking the truth here guys okay that is the truth so please know that Yes, it's been uncomfortable or certain things may be uncomfortable, but you're getting the green light. You're going to have green lights all the way, okay? I'm getting that someone like driving and, you know, it's like every traffic light they get to, it's like it's been an amber and then as soon as you approach up, it goes green and you have green lights all the way. But you may have had difficulties with stopping and starting, but things are about to become very prosperous for you here lots of opportunities opening up i'm getting like chosen family soul family soul tribe here with the seven of cups the ace of cups and the lovers gemini energy and the seven of pentacles 77 or 777 is significant here it's like you've awoken to something Yeah, you've dealt with challenges, but look, not for much longer. There's your energy, Libra, with the Queen of Swords flying out with the Seven of Pentacles. <clears throat> yeah, you're definitely turning your back. You're turning your back on something that's not right for you anymore. Look at that temperance. You're bringing balance to yourself, but others around you as well. But I feel like for some reason, you're not really getting very much appreciation for the fact that you're bringing balance to everyone's lives around you, even loved ones. Because it's like they see you as someone that's kind of stirring the pot or being a bit of a troublemaker or what have you. And I don't feel that's the case at all. It's just like they don't want to see things the way that you do or they will never see the things the way that you do. Yeah, as I say that there's your energy Libra with the justice card. So you know that you're on the right track here, okay? And you are moving on forward. And you're about to get to where you want to get to in the sense of maybe even independence. For some of you, if you may have felt like you've not been able to kind of just live, you know, your life the way that you want to for some reason. But you're getting help. What else here, please? This has been really strongly about money and finances, career, family, friends, maybe, or even family of friends. 
oh my gosh i said about family and the ten of pentacles come out i mean why right underneath the devil are you serious this is this is about generational wealth you broke the chains of a generational curse like i got the confirmation there and there on the table something to do with um beliefs yeah look do you know it's weird it's like that saying oh money doesn't grow on trees but look we've got money growing on these trees it's like you know that we're in this abundant universe okay oh my gosh as i say that with the star yeah you you've miracles guys you've done it you're about to be very very blessed here aquarius energy because look you've decided that even when everyone else was kind of projecting all of their ish or their beliefs or what have you onto you you saw a it you had a vision when nobody else saw it with that king of wands and you took action and because of this you're about to look at that you have the you're having this glow up you're having this come up here with the nine of pentacles i mean ten of pentacles nine of pentacles and other people are going to have a lot to say about it but it's your time now to receive i'm even picking up on some of you you may have never really had any kind of financial assistance in regards to an inheritance here okay like you've you've never had that as i say that there's your energy with justice at the bottom of the deck as i say that so yeah you've never had that kind of help before but look with the four of wands i mean it's not even the next card you're gonna have the home life that you've always wanted and you've always dreamed of and you've hoped and wished for yourself that sense of peace you may have never had that sense of peace but it's coming in because I feel like you've persevered, okay? But yeah, there's something legal that may be getting ready to be revealed to you, okay? Some sort of news. Potentially, there's even a sense that there may have been a reason why you haven't received a large lump sum of money, okay? to do with maybe an inheritance for some of you because there could have been someone who was try trying to control of a situation and did off something and i'm even getting fraudulent here so someone may have either not opened up to you or told you about that there was money left to you in some way and it was meant to go to you but it never did and someone else claimed that money yeah but with judgment Sagittarius energy this is this is like spiritual court here someone is getting tested right now and the outcome is not going to be pretty for someone and you're about to get what you're meant to receive from the beginning and then times 10 at least not just because of what dealings that you've been kind of going through with all the difficulties but then also you're getting something so much extra because you've completed and like some sort of major cycle in your life and you're about to get a spiritual inheritance as well as an actual physical one physical one properly uh, properly wow okay if i can get my effing words out guys oh my gosh i couldn't even make it up if i tried ace of effing pentacles look with your card again justice This is this is someone's message. I, d I know this sounds specific, but there, there is something significant about money for you. OK. I'm hearing I'll fight you for it. So somebody has been fighting or they will try to fight you for it. OK. And they're going to be trying to be as ruthless as possible because they don't want you to get this accumulation of wealth. or They've never wanted you to get this accumulation of wealth that they've been wanting to take it for themselves or they already have done oh my gosh what on earth really sorry if it's just got very dark and you know with the camera all of a sudden so something has been in the dark but whatever is done in the dark comes to light anyway truths being revealed what else here please for libra goodness 
Cut. Oh my gosh, more effing money? King of Pentacles? Are you serious? Holy F. With the Eight of Cups. Yeah, someone, someone may be giving you a helping hand here, or there could be a lawyer involved, or someone who's just very level-headed, okay? Someone very intelligent here is going to be able to communicate with you. And they, I'm hearing go through the fine print. There could be someone getting ready to go through the fine print or they already on your behalf going through the, the, the fine print, but you don't even know about this yet. I just heard in high places. So somebody is of great authority here and they're in high places and they've seen the injustice that you've gone through or they have this kind of gut feeling about the sense of injustice and it's like something just, it's like, you know, when you hear a bit of news or somebody says or something and it just doesn't feel right. And it's like that prick of like interest. Like, it's, is that what it's, is that the saying? I'm not sure. Um, peaked in interest or something like that. And it's like, huh, well, let me look into that a little bit further. But someone is assisting you to get out of a, or something. You've got an ally. Yeah, with the moon. Oh my gosh. Somebody unbeknownst to you is doing or something to assist you, but also there has been something going on here. 22, 22 on my timer as I say that. So four twos, okay. And then adding up of the twos, you get eight, which is, you know, karma here, okay. So, and then we've got eight here with the eight of cups. So 88 or 888 is significant, but also I'm picking up on... But abundance is meant to be coming in for you. But you also have this kind of tricky energy in the dark doing of something that they shouldn't have been doing, right? And then we have the Queen of Wands showing through. Yeah, someone's been a bit of a busybody here, okay? Yeah, they've been manipulative of a situation to try and hold someone back, prevent them from having that leap of faith and a new beginning with the fall. <clears throat> What's going on for the next seven days? What's going on for the next seven days? What else? Oh, holy F. Ten of Wands just flew out right on top of the devil. So yeah, definitely somebody has done something to make your life difficult. I'm hearing a living hell. But I've always feel like you've been someone that's so disciplined here. You've done so much and you've been feeling really left out here. I'm hearing that's that's how I like it. So somebody has really been manipulating of a situation because it's very karmic energy has been actually kind of this this is horrible, but I'm picking up on somebody has been loving the fact that you have been suffering. I'm picking up on narcissistic energy here, okay? For some of you, if that resonates. Um, somebody has loved to see you suffer. Misery loves company. But I feel that even though you've been through what you've been through and you've been struggling, you're about to get, oh my gosh, look at that, the Wheel of Fortune. is working out in your favour, divine timing here at play, Taurus, Leo, Scorpio and Aquarius, things are going around in your favour, the, the tables are turning, you've completed a karmic cycle, you've detached from something or from someone, yeah, and with the three of wands, you're not going back, okay, you're, you're moving on, you're about to have a new beginning, and this is going to be very prosperous for you, yeah, three of wands again, so 33 or 333 is significant, or 303 I'm picking up for some reason, but 1010 10 here. And we also had the 10 of wands land there, so 1010, 10, 10, which can equivalent to 111 as well, which is a number to do with manifestations are near, okay? And with that wheel of fortune, you've been so patient, but look, with the two of cups, this is so beautiful, guys, okay? You're getting you're getting loyalty from certain individuals who want to be actually there of assistance and help you. OK, so there is someone that you can count on who's going to be there for you. OK, yeah. With the Knight of Pentacles, somebody coming forward to assist you. OK, 
could be dealing with an earth sign. Doesn't have to be. What's going on here? What's to go underneath this Queen of Swords? Okay, two cards. What was that? Everything is fine. Another 10, guys. And the Queen of Pentacles. And what was this one wanting to be picked up? Seven of Wands. Bottom of the deck, Death card. Scorpio energy. Do you know what? There's this kind of pushback here, okay? There's this pushback here. Somebody didn't want you to have this new beginning, this rebirth, this transformation. They wanted you to always constantly well, be and constantly be trying to survive and not actually get to that possibility of thriving in your life. Which is sick. But look, as I say that, which is sick, we've got the death card. Somebody may have even wished for you to be sick or get sick. <sighs> yeah, with the nine of swords. Look at that. Nine of swords and then the ace of swords wanting to show through. So that you would be stuck with worry. That you wouldn't get to where you need to get to. But look. Oh my gosh, how beautiful is that? The sun landed on top of the ten of effing pentacles, guys, okay? And what did I say to you? Whatever is done in the dark comes to light. And there we have the effing sun card. So happier times are ahead. Abundance is, is your, I'm hearing your birthright. You've done of something, okay? And you're going to be rewarded. And it's right underneath your energy here with the queen of swords. With the queen of cups. You're going to be so fulfilled. I'm hearing you've done everything right with judgment. You've walked away from people, places and things that aren't serving of you. If there have been opportunities where you could have potentially tried to, you know, say of something because somebody's, you know, not done right by you. You've, you've never acted out in anger or kind of been rude or aggressive or like get revenge I'm, I'm hearing seek revenge at all you've not you're not like that at all you've just distanced yourself you tried to distance yourself yeah and look you just knew that whenever things were ready to come out so that you would know about you would receive it when the timing was right and then your blessing would come in and you would be able to close the door okay on these people places or things or what have you and you could be like, yeah, that was a part of my life. That was a part of my story. And now I can have a new beginning and I don't have to be in my head anymore. Aquarius, Pisces, Sagittarius could be significant. But look. Look at that. Oh, my gosh, guys. Do you know what? King of Cups, Queen of Cups. I felt pulled to go look in the middle of the deck. And I was like, why am I doing this? Like, that's the last cards. So not only do you have some sort of major, major change in your life in regards to your finances, some sort of truths being revealed, you also have someone in your life who is relatively soon going to open up about the deep feelings that they have for you and the fact of how happy you make them and that they want to reconcile, rekindle of a connection. Or if this is a brand new person, then they're going to say to you, look, um, I don't know what it is. I know we haven't met each other. Like I'm not. Wow. Okay. Some of you may have not even actually physically met this person, but you may have spoken online. But I'm getting like, even though you have not properly been acquainted here for some reason, or like if you've met and it's not been long with you dating of someone, it's like they they can't explain how they feel so emotionally connected to you in some way they, they feel like you were destined to meet like you were meant to cross paths okay and this person maybe someone that's not i'm hearing not kind of into all that for some reason like they may have never believed in the sense of destiny or fate okay but there's something to do with you or your interaction with each other where it's like, wow, OK, so I f how do I feel like I know you already? So some of you dealing with a past life connection. And this person is very serious 
about taking you off the market, okay? And they're going to open up that they may have had a very difficult past in regards to love and relationships as well. And they may have recently got divorced, okay? Or they've separated from someone. Or they were legally tied or financially tied with this person, like they were separated. Um, they may have children together or family together, but they're only kind of co-parenting. And they may have put love aside for a little while until certain things um, kind of quieten down, okay? So maybe there was a court case or something legal um, that needed to be finalised first before they were ob able to open up, I'm hearing, and be receptive to, to love, okay? But also to give love as well. But this person that you're dealing with, regardless, why am I getting so channeling? Um, re regardless of whether this is someone from the past or not, okay, this person is looking to settle down, okay? Even if this person has already done the whole nine yards in the past with someone else and it just was absolutely awful, okay? I mean, horrendous. And they've closed out a karmic cycle themselves and they've been doing work as well, like inner child work, you know, healing, shadow work, what have you. And it's like, you're both going to have a lot in common. As I say that breaking up the deck, we have the king of wands. You're going to have a lot in common. But this person who's coming in, regardless of whether they're new or not, they're going to be loyal, okay? And they expect that in return as well. So maybe they potentially dealt with um, infidelity in a previous, I'm hearing, relationship. So maybe not even just one time. It could have been multiple times in different connections or it could have been with the same person and they just, I'm hearing, potentially had a flat out affair, okay? Or they were acting out like they were single, but they were in a commitment of sorts, okay? Like maybe they were just unfaithful behind this person's back. Or maybe they even had potentially an open relationship. And this person may have thought it would have been a good idea at one point, but then they hated the idea of it. And so maybe they tried to discuss about, you know, cutting that and not doing that anymore. And someone wasn't wanting to collaborate in that way and say no actually this is what I prefer and they had a big blow up argument about that and someone couldn't deal with the hurt actually about being in an open relationship they thought it they wouldn't bother them that much for some reason because they thought oh well it, it means that I get to go out and do this as well I don't know why I just heard f boy shit <laughs> so excuse that but someone may have thought oh this is a great idea you know things are a bit boring and you know everything else seems to be relatively stable and what have you but there was maybe a some casual connections here that someone was dealing with and then they were like oh like well, okay so that's that's definitely not what I want. This is actually hurting me far more than I thought that it would affect me, okay? That is very, very specific, guys. So obviously with that message, that's only going to ring true for maybe a couple of you, but I am picking up on that, so I'm going to say it, you know? I am potentially getting as well that pregnancy could be a possibility with you and someone, okay? The birth of a new child here. Um... Yeah, I'm getting I'm getting conception definitely like someone. <clears throat> OK, well, if this is not you and someone about pregnancy, then there potentially could have been a person. Your love interest dealing with a karmic partner who may have lied about being pregnant. And I also just heard, unfortunately, that, that you're not the real father, okay? So there could be something that's been brought up to do with uh, paternity for someone. And maybe someone was thinking, hang on a second, all these years have gone by and this person, you know, the child doesn't really look like me, they don't really act like me, what have you. 
let's just kind of have a little double check in with this and someone's having some sort of results in the realization that they've built this foundation with someone and it turns out it was all built on a lie okay and someone's been devastated about this and so therefore like what the most it's the most kind of manipulative thing that you could do but something is getting drawn drawn out here yeah i'm getting drawn out as in like you know when you draw to take blood okay so somebody may be definitely getting a test of sorts or a blood test done or there could be um a love interest here and a family member somebody may be not very well and they've been getting more health checkups or they've needed to because their health is declining and they may be like well why is everything all happening to me why am i getting more and more ill why is it this that and the third but it's actually because karma is coming back around and the reason they're getting ill is because they've been really quite sneaky here about something gosh this is all this is weird this is all like this it feels like it's taken a bit of a left turn but i mean I'm getting what I'm getting, guys, and I'm really sorry about that, but if some of the messages are ring true, then that's great. If they don't, then they don't. It's not your reading. I don't know it sounds specific, but I'm picking up on what I'm picking up, so I'm going to put it out there. But just know that your new beginning is right round the corner, okay? And whatever is going to be coming through for you, in the sense of abundance and prosperity and blessings and I'm hearing good health, good wealth. Um, I'm hearing the good life, okay? So where you can actually feel comfortable. It's coming in. And you're able to leave something all behind. There, there is someone that you may end up getting together with, okay? And this person's quite well off, okay? They do very well for themselves. Um, it's interesting because you may end up marrying into money, but your purpose obviously isn't to marry into money. But this person realises that you actually genuinely love and care for this person who's coming in, Okay. You have that sense of purity about you. You've never done of anything to try to force a coerce of a connection with this person and try to be with them and have this sense of hidden agenda because of the fact that they do, you know, pretty well in a practical sense or materially. But they may have dealt with people who have had a hidden agenda and kind of got with them or what have you because of the status that they hold. But this person sees through them now, I'm hearing, okay? They see the truth. And they may have not wanted to accept that that was the truth, that they were being, I'm hearing, used and abused in some way. But they know that you're nothing like that at all. And so therefore, it's like I'm getting this overall sense that this person is wanting to give you absolutely everything and then, then some, okay? Like, I'm hearing you don't have a bad bone in your body. Um... You're coming from such a pure, like, innocent, wholesome place. And you genuinely care for this person, love for this person. Or you will do if you've only just recently met or what have you. But this person, you know, maybe it gets to the point where you end up becoming the, the wealthy partner. And this could all be switched around. But I'm getting a power couple vibe for, for definite for, for you and someone. But interesting your your love interest most likely will open up to you if this resonates that they definitely dealt with someone who was a bit money hungry here okay very greedy well, unfortunately i'm hearing spoiled brat okay <laughs> um yeah and that this person was quite cruel with their words like very cutting with their words and your person's like right I don't deserve this. 
and they've had to go through this whole process of learning this lesson of self-love. And they know that you've probably gone through something relatively similar as well. But if not, then they know that you've definitely not had an easy time with relationships either. And this person wants to be there of a support to you. As they know that you're going to be like a true support to them too. And that you both can actually have a very happy, healthy connection. But anyway, guys, that's going to be the end of your reading. So many different messages came through for you today. Obviously, this did actually end up being quite specific. So I'm sorry about that, guys. But like I said, I just got to kind of get the messages out. I'm just kind of the messenger here. But I hope you have enjoyed this reading, guys. Um, you could be seeing sevens, twos, tens, um, ones sixes nines could be significant but we have strong leo taurus scorpio aquarius virgo capricorn um libra all signs pretty much but that's going to be the end of your reading um so i hope you have enjoyed and i hope that there were some messages that came through that resonated or if not the whole reading i'd really appreciate a comment just to kind of let us know give us a heads up that'd be great if this is your story, um, if you have enjoyed this reading and you did wish to fancy, uh, wish to fancy, um, wish to um, uh, be of uh, be of a support um, for myself and the channel, then I do have donation links now available. So thank you so much to those of you who've already donated. I greatly appreciate you guys. Even if you do not financially donate, a great way to energetically donate is to like, share, subscribe, comment down below and I'll get back to you guys on those comments. So thank you so much. Um, also guys if you haven't already I'd appreciate it if you can hit the notification bell so you get an alert as to when I post another video for you and you don't miss out on future updates to do with the channel and also guys um, I just want to say thank you to my members I really do appreciate you guys um, I'm so grateful for you and if you did wish to be a member there's a link in the description box below and all the information will be there for you when you click the link um, but yeah, Libra, this has been for the Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, uh, Mercury and also North Node placements for the next seven days. So please feel free again to check out the other readings so you can get some more messages. But anyway, sending love and light your way. Many blessings and please take care. Speak soon. Thank you. Bye, guys.